I'm going to turn back to the phone lines. I understand that Barbara uh, here in Birmingham is uh, tuning in tonight. Barbara, we appreciate you watching. If you will, go right ahead with your question. Uh, yeah, I kind of had like a comment and I, well, I guess it really would be a question. Um, you know, with the new law that has came out in regards to these vagrants uh, and um, I guess it would be squatters that they're supposed to be automatically removed, you know, when you call the police, but that's not what's happening. I'm not seeing that happening. Um, when you call the police, they won't, they're not making them leave. Uh, they're saying that it's the homeowner's responsibility to get them off the property. And from my understanding, that's not kind of how the law is supposed to work from what I've read or heard. So is that true? Good question. That is a good question. So what I can state is she's referring to the new squatters bill that was passed and what it states is, and this process used to be very long and cumbersome, cumbersome for property owners to get residents that did not belong, squatters that don't belong on the location out of the house. Well, this new law that is passed allows with an affidavit from the owner, the Birmingham Police Department to remove the squatters within 24 hours. That is a process. And from my understanding, BPD has been enforcing that. And but, what but you have to have a, an affidavit from the property owner. That is so, correct. So a neighbor couldn't say, hey, there's a squatter next door, get rid of them. Is that, that is right? correct, that okay. is absolutely correct. And what about, what if you have an absent uh, homeowner in a case like that, how does that work? Or is that a little bit different? So with, and this is how there's interrelational partnerships within the city of Birmingham. And so we work with code enforcement, with BPD, and sometimes you have out of state property owners mm -hmm. and it is hard to get those property owners served. Well, with our drug and nuisance abatement team, we are able to reach property owners through services that allow that process to work smoothly. And a little bit kind of similar, uh, not exactly the same, but I know that the mayor has his um, land um, land bank, I want to say, correct. a program, and that, that's helping with maybe properties that are not being kept up as well and things like that. Can you touch on that just a little bit about what the purpose of that is and how that helps with this as well? What I can say is there is a land bank director, her name is Caroline Jackson, and I would encourage you all to reach out to her. That's within her purview, but I can say that Mayor Woodfin is being very, very proactive on initiatives such as land bank, such as DNAT, and, and such as things with code enforcement that are really making sure that property owners can get their whole, be held accountable for what they're doing on their properties. And you know, I think and folks may hear us talking about that. And of course, top of mind tonight is, is just this mass shooting. But as we said earlier in the program, things like this really can help with larger situations, addressing some of these smaller, what appear to be maybe smaller issues that can help combat some of the, the violence that we're seeing uh, with the partnerships that are going on within the city. That is absolutely correct. Um, talk a little bit, if you will, and, and we did not at the top of the show, but we certainly here at Law Call send our condolences uh, to the families of those who were involved in the situation uh, yesterday. Talk a little bit just about, again, this investigation is outside of your purview, but just the amount of work that police have done um, just over the last few months, I guess, just to solve these crimes and how, again, important it is if folks know information that to is call. Correct. Don't be afraid to call. And this is the same philosophy that we have for the drug nuisance abatement team and what Mayor Woodfin and Chief Thurman have been saying. If you see something, please say something. Yeah. The police cannot do anything and can, they can do a lot, but they cannot do enough without the citizen support and letting them know things that they need to know when an investigation is ongoing. And again, I want to just point out programs like Crime Stoppers, you can remain anonymous, uh, but certainly again, that information that you would would have would certainly help. So um, again, before we go, we want to give out uh, some very key numbers for Attorney King. If you like to speak with her directly, her office number 205-254-2369. Uh, she's talked about her drug nuisance abatement team. That hotline number 205-254-6450. Uh, you can also email them at pro problemproperty at birminghamal.gov. Well, 